what's up y'all i'm coming to y'all live and direct and we just gonna have girls talk or whatever yes i just got out the shower and i hope y'all wash y'all ass too but we're not gonna talk about it the topic at hand is should girls shave their legs i mean do you like you a girl that shave her legs or do you like girl with a whole bunch of hair on her damn legs i mean to each his own but I don't think it's late like. But before we get into this video, make sure that you comment, like, and subscribe this video and let me know what you think, okay? Every piece and remind them be a lot of way big as he gets. Still trying to hear from a nigga, I love that switch, but fuck it, I'm burning that bridge. How could you leave me, daddy? You know I needed you, dad. They asked him what happened, but they can't imagine. I'm low key grateful, you made me a sad. The biggest, the baddest, I ain't even cabin. I'm built like a stay in the symbol of sadness. I should be DJing, I'm quick to drop me a bitch in the midst, giving beats and scratches. I don't think it's ladylike to be having no hairs on your leg, up under your arms, um, right up in here and right up in there, up, up under here. I just don't feel like it's ladylike. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's not cute. I don't know who told y'all to look like a damn Christmas tree, but it's not cute. And I don't like, that's just not it. So that's why I'm here for y'all, for the people, because I don't think none of y'all was taught to shave y'all list. And I really just feel like, it's really just lazy for you to just sit up there and let your hair grow out on your damn legs or on your coochie cat. Like, that is nasty. That is really nasty. Me as a woman, I know what go on down there. So, hair on top of what go on down there, that's just disgusting. You feel me? There is no way in the book of Revelation where it says to keep hair on your private parts and your legs. Now, y'all go in the Bible and go tell me where it say that is. But Auntie Amber, Mama Amber, whatever you want to call me, don't approve it. And me and y'all ought to be ashamed of y'allself because y'all got these women going around here with these lace fronts and they hair done and stuff. And y'all ain't told them to shave their damn legs or that cooch cat. It's just not right. And I don't like it. I don't like it. And I sure damn don't like it. Now, I don't scroll on some people pictures that are really great. They look very beautiful. You know what I'm saying? And... And I'm not the type to like, you know, do this on the picture. But this particular picture, I don't know why it just caught my eye. I'm like, I know damn well this girl ain't got no damn hair on her legs. And I'll be sure it's damn that girl had hair on her legs. And I'm like, how do, how do you got Gucci Dior, all this stuff. But you can't go to Dollar General and go get you a one of them little dollar um, shaver things and shave your damn legs. You need your ass whooped very bad. You need to be taken inside of a room. And like the old parents used to do back in the days, weigh your ass out. Because that is just nasty. I just feel like if you got hair down there on your legs, you you musty. You stink. You musty. And I don't care what you say. Ain't nobody going to change my mind. You stink. Ain't no way. Ain't no way a woman. And men, how do y'all accept all this? Because if y'all wanted a, a dang stick a bush then y'all need to go out there and go wobble around in the stick of bushes and another thing i don't like and i know this may be a little bit off topic and old people i love y'all i i hate when old people have whiskers growing up under their chin and don't nobody tell them you know I, I mean how do you love your grandma and you let your great grandma or your granny walk around with whiskers up under your chin up under her chin y'all need y'all ass whooped too I just, I mean, we got to talk about self-care, self-love, self-care, a part of self-love and loving yourself and, and you know what I'm saying? Being the baddest bitch is, is keeping up with your hygiene. Now, I understand that they may do this in other countries, but we are in America. And half of y'all that I'm talking about is in Atlanta. And y'all dead wrong for this stuff that's been going on. I didn't know what was going on. You know, I don't really be, you know, scrolling up and doing this on people's pictures. But this particular person, the legs was so hairy, it just stuck out. And I was like, oh, hell no. Nah. So that means the person that this person go with be down there trying to find his way to do the nasty. And y'all is just disgusting. It just made me look at the world different. 
I'm like, you know what? I think I'm gonna yeah. keep my, I think I'm gonna keep myself closed. So what I just said, I'm gonna just keep my little self, you know, like this because y'all is just nasty out here. Y'all like hairy bushes, hairy coochie, hairy legs, hairy chins, hairy lips. And I'm telling what else y'all like hearing. Probably your ears be hairy. Oh, let's talk about this. Do y'all be okay? Let's say y'all with a dude, cause I'm a woman, so I'm talking. I'm gonna speak on a dude. Let's say, ladies, you with your dude, and you get to really being in a relationship with your dude. Do you let your dude walk around with different stuff on his body? Like different stuff. I mean, for me, if I start liking you, I'm gonna really, really, really check your ass out. I'm going to be looking at your ears, your nose, your toes, your teeth, all that. You know what I'm saying? Do y'all tell y'all men, like, baby, you need you some new teeth. Baby, you got ear boogers in your ear. You need to get that out. You got ear boogers in your, I mean, you got nose, I mean, tear boogers in your eyes. You need to get that out. Baby, your toes look a hot ass mess. Let me go get your toes done. Do y'all be doing that? Cause I be doing that. I don't. If I really like you, I'm gonna make sure you look good. Even if you around me and I really mess with you, I'm like, let's go get our toes done. Let's go, you, baby. You got some in your ear, y'all. I'm gonna tell y'all one time. I was with this dude and he was really really cute. Like I'm talking about really really cute. And I just so happened to look. Some just say look, and I looked. This Negro has stuff all in his ear. So you mean to tell me that you the freshest mother out here and you got shit in your damn ears? I had I couldn't get away from this nigga so bad, y'all. I'm talking about I was getting on up there. I was like, we was on a, we was on a, I can't really say what we was, but we was on the date and I looked. And baby, when I tell you my whole world just shut down because I really thought this person was going to be the one for me. But I looked in that motherfucker's ears. And I seen all this type of... I'm talking about the nigga was fine, had everything, y'all. He was he was giving, okay? But something just said, look in his ears. And I looked. It was a big ass... Y'all, when I tell y'all I got so mad, I ain't even want to eat no more. I was like, check, please check y'all and if i could have walked home i would have walked i would have walked back to my car y'all i couldn't get away from that date fast enough i was like he was like what's wrong with you i was like mother in your in my head i was like mother your nasty ass and i and i feel like i probably should have told him but that probably would have you know i don't know maybe am i wrong for not telling him he had stuff in his ear but i just feel like you nasty y'all and then y'all then y'all this shit was so crazy y'all you know how before you get in the bed or whatever you take a bath you expect that person at least if you don't wash your ass every day at least act like you wash your ass every day y'all telling y'all the nigga fine got money got everything y'all and he that nigga why the fuck you that nigga? You don't wash your ass. You, I mean, at least if you're in front of me, make me think that you take care of yourself. You know what I'm saying? That is embarrassing to have somebody get in the shower several times and you don't get the hint to get your stinking ass in the goddamn shower. Yeah. When I tell y'all that person was so canceled and he just don't know why he was canceled. He be hitting me up every now and then, like, hey. And I be like, hey. Everybody let kick go off out. Hey. This is the first time coming to my house. Hey. This your my vision is so shine out. Hey. But yeah, he don't he don't know why he cut off. I I and I y'all tell me in the comments, am I wrong for not telling this person that they had this going on? Like I feel like if I got something going on, let me know. If I see if I if I be at your house. And y'all feel like something going on with me. Tell me. Don't walk around telling everybody else. Just tell me. Message me. Text me. Call me. Be like, Amber, you know, you had the donkey wonky funky wonky going on. You feel me? Don't let me walk around. And I'm and I'm got stuff in my ears, stuff in my damn teeth, booger, boogers in my damn nose. Don't let me walk around like that. Don't do that. That is dead ass wrong. 
And I know y'all probably in the comments like, well, you didn't tell him that he had ear boogers. But I just felt like, how do you say that? It's the difference between ear, I mean, your nose. But your ears, how do you tell somebody they got stuff in their ears? And I'm so honest, y'all. Normally, I would have told that person. But I don't know. It's just something I could just come fix my mind. It was just so much of it. I just, I didn't know what to say. I was so, I was just so, I, uh, but the biggest thing, the moral of this story is, ladies, shave. Women are supposed to be soft and smooth as a baby's bottom. It is not cute, and I don't care even if your man like it. It is not cute for a woman to walk around with a leg full of hair. Hell on her dang lip. Hell on her chin. Hell up on her arms. And then, not only do you not shave, but you got a nerve to lift your arms up. And you got hair up under there. You nasty motherfucker. <laughs> but... This concludes my little my little topic of discussion tonight. I just had to I couldn't even get into bed because I just had to come in here and talk to y'all because I don't like what I'm seeing and I need to I needed to stop because y'all wrong and I and I and I'm gonna tell y'all the truth and a lot don't care who tell it. I might tell y'all I might tell you a joke, but what I ain't gonna do is tell you a lie. I might tell you a joke. But what I ain't gonna do is lie to you, baby. Okay. But yeah, that concludes what I had to talk about. I hope y'all enjoyed it. You know, I just I, I'm trying to stay consistent because the whole thing of this of this life, and if you want to be in a certain lifestyle, you gotta stay consistent at whatever you do. Um, and just and just don't let nothing stop you, no matter how you look. Because a lot of my videos, I'd be like, dang, I, I'm not going to do no podcast because I look crazy. But, hey, y'all know how I, if when I get dressed up, I get dressed up. And when I'm in mommy mode and when I'm finna go to sleep, I'm finna look like I'm finna go to sleep. I'm not finna look all made up to talk to y'all. Podcast, we just going to keep this shit one thou out. Period. But, anyways, I enjoy talking to y'all. And I hope y'all enjoy my videos. And if y'all do, continue to like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know what y'all think. And that just is what it is, y'all. My daughter keep bringing me oatmeal pies. Yeah! She got one after I just done brushed her teeth. Yeah! She got a bit. Look. No. No. No, ma'am. No more. But good night, y'all. I love y'all. And I'll see y'all later. Mwah. Don't forget to keep that. Don't forget to keep God first and put no one else above him. And that just is what it is. Bye.